Hey guys, in this problem we're looking for the force per meter length on a straight wire with from with, that has this current, 6.4 amperes, and perpendicular to a 0.9 tesla magnetic field. Now normally when we're measuring the force of, of a magnetic force due to a current, the formula for the force, F, is this equal to the current multiplied by the length of the wire, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, and then multiplied by the sine of the angle theta between the wire and the field. For this problem, however, we're being asked about the force per meter of length. So the way we can modify this formula to get what we want is simply divide both sides of the equation by the L term so that we end up with a formula for the force divided by L for force per meter length, per, per meter of length. This is equal to the current multiplied by the magnetic field multiplied by the sine of the angle. And now from here it's pretty simple. We just plug in the values that were given to us by the problem. So for the current that's 6.4 amperes, for the magnetic field that's 0.9 teslas, then the sine of the angle, and we're told that it's perpendicular. The current is perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field. So that means that our angle theta is 90 degrees. So if we put that into a calculator, then we'll find a force per meter of a length of 5.8 newtons per meter. So that is the answer to part A. Now part B asks us to change the angle to 35 degrees. So instead of 90 degrees like we used, now we're going to use 35 degrees. But everything else stays the same. So it's the same current. 6.4 amperes, same magnetic field, so 0.9 teslas, and now the part that we change is the sign, because now it's the sign of 35 degrees. If we put that into a calculator, then we find a force per unit of length of 3.3 newtons per meter. And so that is our answer to part B, which means that that is also our answer to the entire problem. So that is all for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question or a comment, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.